So recently, Neek posted this video about kink to her TikTok. If you've seen it, timestamps are down below if you want to skip ahead. I literally found out how I was pregnant the craziest way. I found out I was pregnant and getting cheated on in the same day, okay? Okay, since we here, we might as well tell the story. I'm gonna try to talk as fast as I can because I'm doing a YouTube video and I'm also doing this at the same time. So basically how I found out I was getting cheated on girl and pregnant at the same time is that, you know, I was in college at the time and I had this iPad. My iPad didn't have like a Apple ID on it or like an iCloud login. Anyway, somehow my baby daddy uh, iCloud got on my iPad and yeah. So I ended up going back to campus or whatever the case may be. I don't be on my iPad that much. I had probably went to class or something like that. And when I got back to my dorm, I checked the iPad and they start having like message notifications come to the iPad. To be honest, uh, I started seeing messages come to the iPad. So I called my friend because I realized it was his messages. So I'm like, okay, should I not be looking at these messages? Like at the time, I was the type to be like, I still am the type. Like, I don't want to check phones. I don't want to look through your phone. I don't want to see what's going on. Should I just log out of this iCloud? Because at this at this point, I don't want to see shit that's going to hurt my feelings. Like, I do not want to be looking through at this. But at the end of the day, I talked to my friends and they was like, I'll be, I would stay logged in if I was you. And then I was just thinking like, now look at me with this opportunity. is standing right in front of me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just stay logged in for about 24 hours. See what's going on. Check the temp. And then I'm going to log out. He'll never know. So I stay logged in. So far, all the messages is going pretty good like you know it, light messages nothing really too deep like very good you know good energy we're not, we're not seeing anything so i'm not gonna lie the messages was pretty much decent you know for the whole night so then i go to sleep and i wake up in the morning to more messages from an unknown number of course none of them are saved them i think but from a number and she was like oh i'm sorry i fell asleep on you last night i'm gonna call you again so he continues to say, oh, no, nah, you be playing with me, this, that, and the third. I missed you last night, this, that, and the third. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Y'all gonna have to wait for part two because I'm literally running out of time. King Tweet responded to the video. He said, a happy person not gonna keep revisiting the past. There's so much topics to do, so many topics to be talked about. I shouldn't be a topic no more. Past is in the past. People love to throw bricks and hide their hand but claim they so happy and unbothered. Question, do you think Nick was being messy or do she have a right to talk about her past experiences? Now I've seen these videos where influencers sit down and they have story time and get ready so it is a trend but at the same time i do understand the story time that she chose was a sensitive topic so i don't know y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking Layla and neek was making progress remember i reported last month that they went to disney on ice together with the kids so hopefully this situation doesn't affect them moving forward y'all leave y'all comments down below let me know what y'all thinking until next time peace let me when you get in one in the moves i'm gonna just wait till you finish because you make it play when it's different I see the light in your spirit. You my spiritual healer. I felt the evil in woman, and it made me indifferent. Should have been treating you different.